here with Sterling Doty of the Stephenville Yellow Jackets. How are you doing today, Coach? Hey, good morning. Appreciate you having me on. Uh, we're doing really well. All right, so uh, just let's start off with uh, how uh, how you there in Stephenville are holding up under the current strange situation. Yeah, you know, it's really uh, unprecedented times, and uh, I know it's got – uh, everybody talking about just our, our, our new, what the new norm is. And, uh, you know, uh, we're, we're doing well. Uh, my family has uh, been blessed and, and uh, everybody stayed healthy. And, and um, so that's been good, uh, both my wife's parents and, and uh, my parents here in, uh, in Stephenville have uh, stayed healthy as well, along with my family. And uh, so we're blessed with that. But, uh, you know, uh, Really, we're just uh, ready to get back around our kids. Uh, you know, we're missing our athletes. We're missing our, our daily interactions. Um, you know, as much as they need those routines, uh, we're, we're the same way. Uh, we need to be around them and, and building and, and shaping them and getting prepared for, for not only our season, but just, you know, preparing them for life. And so we're, we're all missing that right now. We're all a little bit heartbroken. Our, uh, the seniors. Uh, you know, heart goes out to those guys that, that just lost um, their their baseball and softball, and and uh, you know the, those teams that that <laughs> headed down to uh, San Antonio for the boys basketball tournament. I mean, you can't imagine having a great season, getting down to the tourney, and then all that be taken away from you. You know, so your heart really goes out to those kids, and uh, they're really having to battle through some early adversity in life, and uh, you know, hopefully they'll all come out stronger from it, but. Um, and then, and then uh, you know, your heart goes out to the kids that, uh, you know, needed this time, needed spring training, um, needed the evaluation from the college coaches kind of to take their game to the next level and their game, uh, you know, the, their future and their college status uh, with, with kind of camps closing down and uncertainty of uh, little colleges when they're going to be able to pick back up, you know. So a lot of our, our junior kids that, that were going to go he uh, hit the – college camp circuit hard, you know, and aren't able to do that. And so, um, you know, really just kind of uh, brings you back to, uh, uh, you know, the simple uh, focusing on on what you got to do, a lot of internal motivation because you're not getting, you know, your motivational, uh, your motivation from outside sources. You got to be internally driven to get out there and work out. And, and uh, you know, as, as things continue to open up, you know, our kids – can't keep them away from each other. You know, they're already uh, together and, 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 you know, they're, they're, they're working and, and uh, having fun just being back around each other. So, uh, you know, hopefully we continue to open up and, and get this thing going. Okay. Uh, touched on it briefly, but uh, go a little more detail of what you are doing to keep contact with your kids and try and keep them on point. Yeah, you know, we, we're, we're using um, an app, the, the Remind app. A lot of folks uh, use it, and, uh, you know, so we're staying in contact with them um, through that of just some daily reminders. And um, we're, we're giving them workouts um, every week for, you know, uh, if you don't have access to weights, you know, here's some options of some things you can use around the house, using a lot of body weight. And, uh, you know, filling up a backpack with some books and, and, and all those types of, uh, you know, outside of the box thinking. And, and uh, so we're giving them those workouts. And then if you do have access to uh, weights, and then we're sending our normal, uh, you know, what we would be doing. And so, um, and then X's and O's wise, uh, we've been meeting with our kids here, uh, you know, for a couple weeks, uh, kind of when, when all this became the new normal. Uh, we've been installing things, you know, Huddle is a great video editor that uh, I think a lot of schools are taking advantage of. And so we can have presentations on there where we're installing basically what we'd be doing right now in the month of May with our kids out on the grass during, during our athletic period, kind of our spring training, if you will, since we can't practice uh, in pads or anything. Uh, we're doing that and it's just all online. It's all mental reps and, and uh, you know, just, trying to stay on top of what we normally would be doing in person. And uh, we've, we've been uh, sending those installs out to the kids and then, and then coming back and following up with uh, weekly Zoom meetings uh, with our position coaches and, and, and all those things. So 
being able to see them and, and uh, have them interact with other kids uh, within their position groups and within their team, uh, you know, it was just really important and uh, for them just to see each other and laugh with each other and just continue to, uh, you know, build those relationships. And if you don't mind, because uh, one of the topics I, I like to discuss with coaches, but particularly with you, talk a little bit about, uh, so you came in, you came, uh, you're a Stephenville alum. Um, you came back to Stephenville and started last year. Obviously, there's a strong history there, so there's a, you know appreciation for football culture. But uh, if you can talk a little bit about when you come into a new situation and you want to change the culture, number one, what does that mean, and what does that look like? Yeah, you know, for me, it's it's always been about relationships. That's how I was taught. Um, you know, from my coaches back in high school. And like you mentioned, grew up here and had followed, uh, you know, was coached by some some really just, just some great men. And uh, so really just building relationships with the kids. So hit the ground running, uh, trying to get to know them, um, implementing all your new uh, – the, the way that you do things and, and the new standards. Um, and just really showing them that uh, you care about them and you're going to be there for them. And, and uh, just just show up for them every day. Give them give them the best version of you because that's that's what you're asking them to do. And um, you know, then you got to have uh, a great people around you. And uh, so you know, I was blessed both in, in uh, to be around great coaches in Abilene when I was at Cooper, and then uh, at Magnolia had great administration that understood the importance of, of having the right coaches in there. And and um, and then here at Steamville, the same thing. Had some really good coaches on staff, and then I was able to bring in some guys that, that uh, you know, were familiar with our system or, or even were with me in Magnolia. So uh, just get, get good coaches around you. And get good coaches that are going to coach them hard, that are going to love them hard, and, and uh, you know, set high standards for the kids. But, but keeping the, the relationship piece of it um, at, at a premium. And, um, you know, make sure we're getting to know them and building those relationships so that when we do get out on the, get out on the uh, field and, and when times get tough, then, then we've got that to, to fall back on and to understand that, hey, we're going to do this together and, and be able to get through it, you know, kind of as a brotherhood. And at the same time, these are teenagers. You don't uh, have – I raised two male boys. Uh, <laughs> You didn't tell them to take the trash out just once. You know, there, there have to be the reminders. And um, uh, I know with you, because, because I've seen it after a spring game, it's re reminding these players of their role in the community, that they're representing the school and the football program 24-7. Yeah, that's right. You know, I, since I got Magnolia, it kind of took on the motto of win the day. And, and that's just not talking about on the competition field, but, we want to also be great in the classroom and the community. We kind of call it our three C's. And so by doing that in the community means, you know, being active uh, in, in our organizations outside of school, our church groups and, and, and being a, a leader there. And then, you know, out uh, any type of volunteering opportunities, we want to take advantage of those. And then also just on a Friday night, you know, what, what's it going to look like when, when we leave a restaurant when we've had a, uh, you know, the 15 offensive linemen in, in, uh, at Whataburger, that could get messy real quick. So got to make sure that, and respect the people working and just clean up and, and just act appropriately. You know, act like a student athlete that's uh, uh, built for excellence and, and somebody that's, you know, thriving to do great on the, on the field. Because if we're not getting it out of you in, in the community and we're not getting it out of you in the classroom, how, how can we expect you to uh, – you know, be able to form on the field. And so um, all, all three of those uh, go, go hand in hand. And, and uh, you know, so we're really just trying to be great in everything that we touch. Okay. Well, let's be positive. We're going to start practice first week in August. Yes, sir. Um, what is that going to look like uh, for the uh, – what are the uh, Yellow Jackets going to look, look like this fall? You know, we've got some uh, really good skill kids coming back uh, on, on both sides of the ball. Uh, with our depth uh, last year, we had uh, quite a few kids go both ways. And so they gained a lot of experience 
um, either at receiver or, or in the secondary. Um, you know, we bring back an all-state uh, punter who is also a really good uh, receiver for us and, and our leading tackler there in the secondary. Um, and then we're going to uh, bring back our running back who had a really good year. Um, and then and going to bring it back an, an outside receiver that also played corner for us. And so you, you got some, um, you know, some good talent there and, and, and a good core of returning starters that have seen a lot of experience. Uh, you know, also got an all state linebacker coming back um, that, that, you know, played really well going down the stretch there and got an all state nod. So, um, we feel good about the kids that we have coming back and about our, our senior leadership. They've been under, uh, you know, the new program here for, for a year. And, and uh, you know, we're making such strides in off season and, and just the, the work between the ears and the importance of their leadership uh, leading the way, you know, the coaches can, can work for you to have a good season, but you know, you're really your players when they lead, you got an opportunity to do something really special. And so, uh, you know, we, we've had that uh, momentum building uh, as we go up into this quarantine time and then, and then all the way through the quarantine time. You know, as well, you see some guys reaching out and making sure everybody's staying on top of keeping keeping their eyes on the prize, you know, uh, th through this time. And so that's been really good. And then we got some uh, good young talent coming up. we got a good, really group of uh, uh, sophomore kids uh, that, that were freshmen last year. And so, uh, they're going to be able to, to fill some holes. And and, uh, and we, we got our two best offensive linemen back, uh, you know, some kids that were really playing good football down, down the stretch. And so uh, we feel good about uh, those guys and, and how we're going to be playing on both sides of the line. Uh, you know, you throw that in there with, with uh, playing uh, UIL, put us back in Region 1 and uh, put us against some – some great competition. You know, we got three district champions in our district, uh, with one of them being a state finalist and, and uh, Waco La Vega. And then you've got uh, Midlothian Heritage, who went uh, to the fourth round and played Carthage. Uh, you know, played them well there in the fourth round. And and, uh, and then you got Alvarado, Southern District champion, uh, who got beat out by uh, Brownwood, who, who's the other team. In, in, in our district as well that had a really good year last year. So you got those four teams and then uh, seven and four Waxahachie Life uh, School that uh, had success, got in the playoffs last year. And, and then, uh, you know, with the momentum that we created at the, at the end of our year by, uh, you know, getting in and playing some really good football there late and, and uh, you know, giving Argyle all they wanted there in the, in the, in the second round of playoffs with it being 49, 49 with five minutes to go in the fourth. And so we carried some good momentum in the off season and, and uh, we're hungry to be able to get back in there and compete against that district. And, you know, we're working every day to be district champions and, and, and then, uh, you know, go compete and win a state championship. Well, thanks for your time today, coach. And we definitely hope to, uh, see football, see your uh, Yellow Jackets out on the field this fall. Yes, sir. Yeah, we're, we're planning on it.